Hello everybody, Prime Raptor from Evil Raptor, and today we're going to review Only Neck Aliens, Series 11, Warrior Alien. Now, this is of course not the Warrior Alien, this is the big chap, but cast in blue plastic with a blue wash. But I'm going to call it the Warrior Alien, because that's what the box refers to it as, and, well, that's what the original toy was. This figure is really good. Now, as I said, this is just the normal big chap. But, he does have some new articulation, which is pretty nice. Anyway, this figure is great, and let's get into what makes it so great. Let's get into his sculpt. So, sculpt-wise, this guy is very nicely done. His dome is, of course, a, just a completely foggy blue. With, at the tip, it is actually a, it's a little bit more clear, and you can see the actual, like, skull eyes underneath. Now, I would have preferred that the entire dome just be blue, but it's okay. It's nice looking. And sorry if my voice sounds scratchy or I'm stuffy, it's because I'm just getting over a sickness, so I'm sorry about that. Very nice de detail on the mouth, there's a little blemish there of paint or just some sloth, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Very nice detail around the head, some nice geeker detail on the sides of the head with the nice piping and like biomechanical bone-ish detail. Very nice ridges, the two little pipes look very nice, running from his chin down to his back. The tendons on his cheek look very nice. The mouth can also open and the teeth are painted a nice silver. The inner jaw can also come out. Very nice, it's just a nice bright blue with some nice silver detail on the teeth. Very nicely done for how small the detail is. The actual chest and rib cage or exoskeleton looks very nice, very good looking. The waist and crotch area looks pretty nice with this nice Giger-esque biomechanical detail. On the back, you can see he's got a kind of spine, spine. Got, he's got like a, sp uh, yeah, spine basically running down his, from his little back spine here, down from his back. And to his tail, which is very nice looking. It's just a normal xenomorph tail, but at the tip, it's got a nice little silver silver tip. Which, you know, I'm surprised that they even did that. So, I find that very nice. Very nice looking detail of the arm. Very nice. He's got this little spike at the elbow. I always like the xenomorph's hands with the way they looked with the weird fi connected fingers. Legs look very nice. Now, um, this is of course a new articulation joint, but these three little knobs here, when you bend the knee, it does separate them, so that kind of sucks, but that's okay. The back of the leg looks very nice. Some nice ridge detail and piping running down it. Overall, the leg just looks very nice. He's got this little spike at the back of his heel. I don't believe that is one of his, that's like a back toe. I do not believe that. I think that's just part of his foot. He's got some very nice detail and some nice little silver paint on his toes, or toenails. Very nice sculpt, and that's about it for sculpt on the warrior alien. So articulation wise, this guy has got a ball joint at the head, the mouth can open and close, the inner jaw can also come out if you want to count that as articulation. It's not coming out right now because so, it's kind of shoved in there. But if you hit, the, if you like tap the head, it should come out. But I guess it's not right now. Unlike the normal big chap, he does not have a swivel at the upper arm, but he can. His arm can go that far out. It can move 360. He's got a swivel at the elbow and a double jointed elbow. He's got a swivel at the wrist can also bend. He's got a ball drain at the torso. His leg can move out, go out that far, go forward that far, go back that far. He's got a double drain knee, a swivel at the knee, a ball drain at the foot, which I don't want to push because so many of my aliens have broke at the foot, thanks to that, thanks to me pushing it too hard, and a toe bend and a swivel at the base of the tail, and a, of course, a bending wire at the tail. So that's about it for articulation on the xenomorph.
So for comparison, here he is next to the rest of Series 11 and Lambert, who I will get to next after this review. Here he is next to some more new, new NECA Aliens figures, being the Xenomorph and the Neomorph from Alien Covenant. And here he is next to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, Sewer Mutation Alien. So overall, this figure is good. It's a good figure. It's not a must-have, but if you're a completionist like me, then you want to have him. Or if you just like the Kenner figures, then you also want to have him. He's a very nice figure, and I don't, you know, he's not filler in the wave. I, I very much like him, and I do like the design. But this figure's great. I say you should get it if, you know, if you like the Kenner aliens or you're a completionist. But this figure is good. It's good. But thank you so much for over 200 subscribers. It is crazy. Once we get to 300, I will do a collection video for you guys. And thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and commenting. I appreciate all the comments I get. And also, lastly, I had someone ask me if I got this guy and the, er, the Defiance Alien from Toy Wiz. And no, I got these from the NECA Aliens Club. So... Yeah, if you wanted to join the club, you would have to order Series 11, and now you can't join the club because Series 11 is off, but I do believe you can order a bundle with a whole bunch of NECA Aliens figures. But, that's besides the point. Subscribe, like, comment, thank you so much, I appreciate all the interaction I get, and the amount of subscribers I have. 200 may not seem a lot to other people, but to me, it means the world, and uh, bye bye